What's going on church family? It's actually Pastor Jay and I got Chris here and that's a little unique although we've been kind of sharing videos lately we want to do something together because over the next few weeks we want to make our six and six about this concept of is it living? Now Chris kind of came up with this idea actually where'd you come up with this? So it actually started off when I was in Kansas and I was teaching a seventh grade biology lesson which sounds really strange but there's seven principles to this concept of is it living that totally relates to our spiritual life. Exactly so what we want to do over the next few weeks is to give these uh, concepts these principles kind of break them down let you think about it and let you really apply it to your heart you know the the idea of is it living for me really marries to what we talked about on Easter Sunday morning. I want to read you something out of the message version of uh, Ephesians chapter 2. It says this, It wasn't so long ago that you were mired in your old stagnant life of sin. You let the world, which doesn't know the first thing about living, tell you how to live. You filled your lungs with polluted unbelief and then exhaled disobedience. We all did it. All of us doing what we felt like doing when we felt like doing it, all of us in the same boat. It's a wonder God didn't lose his temper and do away with the whole lot of us. Instead, immense in mercy and with incredible love, he embraced us, and this is the part I want you to see. He took our sin-dead lives and made us alive in Christ. You and me are to live alive in Christ. But what the concept is gonna be over the next few weeks is going through these elements to really see if an organism is living. Is your spiritual life living? So what we're hopeful that you'll do is you'll kind of put your spiritual walk and your walk with Christ through this gauntlet of, what, what's the, Miss Gren or something? Miss Gren, and it's an acronym that we use to teach the, the, the subject of is it living? And the first one's movement. Then it's respiration. Then it's sensitivity or sense, growth, reproduction, excretion and then nutrition so that what we'll do is we're gonna break these down over the next few weeks and apply them through scripture for you to actually kind of put as I said put yourself um, on the line really figure out if um, if your spiritual walk is living appropriately um, so this will be our six at six and uh, I wanted to encourage you right now if you have yet to sign up for this week's um, opportunity down at Phoenix Rescue Mission. Chris, when are you going down there? Wednesday. Wednesday. Make sure that you did. We're so grateful for those that dropped off um, stuff this coming, this last Sunday afternoon, or I'm sorry, this Sunday morning. Um, I think it's gonna be a very impactful week as a whole. We look forward to talking with you every single morning about this stuff.